Let me show you an example of how to solve a circuit with a supernode. Um, in other words, um, a voltage source in between two nodes. So in the last video, we introduced the supernode. So let me just go ahead and solve a circuit like the last one that we did. Um, so I'm going to give some specific values so you can see the computation. Let's let this source be 14 volts. We'll let this be a 4 ohm resistor, suppose this is a 3 ohm resistor, suppose this is a 2 ohm resistor, and let's let this be 6. Um, this source up here at the super node, let's suppose this is a 6 volt source. Um, the first step in the node voltage method is to label all nodes. So I'll call that V1 and I'll call that V2, those are my two nodes and then to designate a reference node. So I'll have that be this bottom wire is my reference node. And then um, let me write all my currents at all the nodes. So I'm gonna assume that we have a current that originates from this 14 volt source, so I'll label this I1. There'll be some current that takes the path through this three ohm resistor, I'll call that I2. Um, the current that comes over here through this source, I'll call this I3. The current that takes the path through this resistor, this can be I4, and then that comes around this loop, let's let this be I5. Okay, so um, since we have a voltage source that's in between nodes V1 and V2, um, the, the method for how to handle this super node is just for a moment while we're making the KCL equations, we're going to replace this with a wire. So we're going to kind of pretend that it's not there. Um, it's not a wire that connects V1 to V2 in that it makes it the same node, we're still going to have these as separated nodes. So um, my super node circuit is going to now look like this, where this is still V1 and this is still V2, but now the current that's coming into this um, node V1 is going to be, the current coming in is I1, the current coming out is I2 and I3, but then this I3 is going to split down this to be I4 and I5. So at node V1, I have that I1 is equal to I2 plus I3, and then at node V2, I have that I3 is equal to I4 plus I5. Now I can combine these to just, um, if I substitute this in for that I3 there, I get I1 is equal to I2 plus I4 plus I5. And this is my KCL equation um, at uh, basically both nodes, but then I combine it to be one. Now um, I'm going to use Ohm's law to replace all of these currents with um, an equation in terms of V and R. Okay, so the way we do that is this is 14 and this is V1. I'm going to replace I1 with 14 minus V1 divided by the resistor between, which is a 4 ohm resistor. So I1 will be 14 minus V1 over 4. I2 is going to be V1 minus 0 over the resistor between, which is 3. V1 minus 0 is just V1 over 3. I don't have to worry about I3 because I substituted it out. So my I4 is V2 minus 0 divided by the resistor between, which is 2. So that's just V2 over 2. And then my I5 is V2 minus 0 over the 6 ohm resistor. So now I've rewritten I, all of my I's in the equation in terms of the voltage at the node divided by the resistor between. Okay, great. So now I can make this substitution into this equation here. So this equation becomes 14 minus V1 over 4 is equal to V1 over 3 plus V2 over 2 plus V2 over 6. So um, I have one equation here, but two unknowns. 
So this is what I do. This is how this, where the super node comes in. At the super node, what do we know? We know that um, V1 minus V2 is equal to this voltage here. So by the passive sign convention, if I went consistent with the direction of the current that I wrote here, V1 minus V2 would be a negative 6 since it's coming in the negative terminal. I can also say that V2 minus V1 is equal to positive 6. Um, but let me write that here. This is going to be V1 minus V2 is equal to negative 6. Now this gives me my second equation so that I can solve um, a system of equations with two unknowns. So now I can take this thing. Um, this implies that V1 is equal to V2 minus 6 and I can make a substitution everywhere I see a V1 in this equation up here. So let me do that. My equation, my node voltage equation was um, 14 minus V1 over 4 is equal to V1 over 3 plus V2 over 2 plus V2 over 6. Um, I'm going to make a substitution that substitute um, I can say that V2 is equal to V1 minus plus 6 or if I wanted to substitute for V1 I can see V1 is V2 minus 6. I'm just going to go ahead and substitute in for V2. So here I get that 14 over 4 minus V1 over 4 is equal to V1 over 3 plus um, in place for V2 I'm going to put V1 plus 6 over 2 plus V1 plus 6 over 3. And now um, I get to solve this thing for V1. So what do I get? I get 14 over 4 minus 4 is equal to, if I bring the V1 terms over here, V1 over 4 plus V1 over 3 plus V1 over 2 plus V1 over 6. Um, so this is going to give me, this is 3.5, 3.5 minus 4 gives me negative 0.5. Um, if I find a common denominator here, this is going to give me 15 over 12 times V1. So this implies that V1 is equal to negative 0.4 volts. So great, now that I have V1, this means that V2 is given by V1 plus 6, or negative 0.4 plus 6, which is 5.6 volts is my V2. Okay, great. So I used this substitution here for the super node to get my equations for um, my node voltage equation and then I reconsider the super node to get my second equation relating V1 and V2 so I can solve um, my system of equations with uh, two unknowns. So here's my final answer. Let me know um, if you have any questions about that.